What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today's video, we got Big Lou here again and we want to see how much, I'm curious to see because what I noticed on my truck and I'm a little, I'm not going to say worried, but I'm, I'm concerned that I can't believe on, and no guys, that's not our new spot, I just stuck it in there, uh, but I'm a little concerned on this thing being a 3500, only has like two and a half or three and a half leaf springs on it with Big Lou's also here being a 3500. Uh, well, this thing is like Leaf Spring Central in here. I, I don't know what's going on in here, but I mean, this thing is insane. It's got springs all over. So I want to do a, a squat test or a, a sag test, and I'm curious to see the difference. We're going to hook the big ding ding up, uh, and we're going to set it down. We're going to take a measurement of it being obviously like this with nothing. You guys can see there is no weight. Uh, currently on there right now So we're gonna see how much this thing drops and also I'm gonna put a level on here And uh, we're gonna see you know how much that bubble moves if it levels it out if things sting is still uh, Stink bugging a little bit or not. So I just want to see how much uh, You know just this bubble really moves. I'm not looking to see if it's level I'm just looking to see how much this moves compared to mine. So right now We got this bubble almost uh, Almost level not not just quite so Big Lou, here you go, I'm gonna hand over the camera to Big Lou. And uh, we're gonna take a measurement here and see uh, well, what we got here. Also, we gotta take a note that Lewis's tires on his truck, 235, 80, 17 on this truck. Now I believe my tires, we'll double check, but I believe they're a 285, 70, 20. But I will, we will double check that. So we gotta take in consideration also the size of the tire. Now. Right now, Lewis is sitting at, let's see here, 11 and 1 eighth. Can you see that there? Or you can say 11 and a quarter. Yeah. 11 and a quarter, this thing is at. So now, we're going to put the weight down on the truck and see, oh, how much this thing uh, squats. Okay, the weight is completely off, as you guys see, I'm moving the, uh, the wood around right here. So there is no weight on the truck. Now let's go see how much this thing, oh, let's see the level. So, wow, so look at it, it moved that bubble uh, pretty damn good. It's, it was almost level, and it took it almost all the way to the other side. All right, no biggie. Now let's uh, take our uh, measurement here, let's see. So we are at nine and three quarters. So we were at 11 and a quarter and now we are at nine and three quarters. So that's not bad. I would only imagine this would only get better with putting weight distribution bars. Again, we do not have the weight distribution bars on here. We just stuck it on the hitch, that's it. So, I mean, that's not too bad, no big deal. Now, we're gonna go get the white girl in there and see, uh, well, uh, compare her, I guess, to Papa Smurf and the white girl. <laughs> see what happens. Papa Smurf. Also, real quick, before I take the uh, weight off, I want to show you guys the leaf springs, the before and the after. Uh, it looks like, I don't know, I didn't see any any difference. Actually, uh, Big Lou, jack it up real quick while we're uh, we're here. Let's see, uh, let's see what this does. Let's see, I want to see if that one lifts up. Yeah, it looks like barely anything really happened except those spread open a little bit, but that's about it. I gotta say, guys, I think this thing is going to need some. Uh, so when I drove it, it was it was pretty smooth with the trailer, um, but I, you know I think it needs more weight back here for this thing to actually give it a smoother ride. Uh, that's the one thing what I'd really want to compare it to. Again, stay tuned, guys. We are going to do a tow test uh, with the white girl over there. And I uh, will let you guys know, and you guys will be right along with me to see, uh, well, how she does. The new tires handled great, though. That was, uh, that's good. So now we're going to get uh, Papa Smurf out of the way so I can pull the white girl up and, uh, well, we can see uh, how she does. Okay, for my Dodge guys out there, so while we were, while we were moving uh, Big Lou's, um, or while we were unhooking the trailer, 
for some reason this uh, light is on here now I don't know what this means it's not turning off it's saying the trailer I don't know is gone I mean I know I understand we unhooked uh, I just I don't know you guys you guys know what that logo means right there let me know comment down below I'm going to restart the truck and see if it uh, comes back on but I don't know uh, what the right right there that little red trailer with a red X to it okay so it looks like I restarted the truck and it went away um, I, I don't know if that's let me know that it's unhooked or what but let me know if you guys uh, know what that means that's that's weird I've never uh, never seen that before okay guys we got the level on here it looks like it is identical as it was uh, sitting on Big Lou's truck so there we go Big Lou we'll hand the camera over to Big Lou over here thank you and we will go, we're going to get a measurement. Now, real quick, before I get a measurement, let me show you guys the leaf spring difference between the dually and this 3500 single wheel. Uh, but that, that's about it, right there. That's, that's it, I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go, look at that. So we got like three in the main, the big load spring right there. Uh, Lou had all kinds of, uh, you know, shenanigans going on in there, but there you go, Big Lou. Camera boy back. All right. Oh, and the tires on this thing, are a 285-60-20. So uh, they're going to be a little bigger, but not, not too much. But let's let's take our initial measurement and see here. All right, we're at, so we're at exactly 10. Exactly at 10. See that, you get all that? Yeah. 10? 10. 10. 10, yes sir. All right, now we're gonna put the weight on and uh, see what happens. Okay, looks like she's a squatter. She feels it. Um, so, as you can see, it is sitting, let me see that camera, it is sitting right here on that max uh, spring right there. I'll have to let the thing focus for you guys real quick. Come on, come on. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that right there. So it, it did sit on uh, that max, and I will uh, show you the camera when Big Lou uh, takes the weight off it. But let's measure now and see uh, also the bubble this bubble looks like it went all the way to the other side. I don't remember if Big Lewis's truck was that far, but let's just take this measurement uh, and see how far. So we were at 10, we said. Yeah. So we are going to be at now. We're at eight and we're at eight and a half, eight and eh, just under eight and a half. So it looks like this thing squatted, I would say an inch and a half total. And half, what was yours? Your squatted at inch? I think an inch or two. Not two. We were at 10 and a quarter, and I think it was at. And we were at yeah, 10 and a quarter, and I went down to. Well, you okay. guys you guys know. Look at that expression on his face. He she's, does not look happy. <laughs> she needs some airbags. <laughs> so, guys, it looks like there is a big difference. Um, squatting wise compared to the 3500 dually and compared to the 3500 single wheel now I would and I guess that because you can see the amount of leaf springs on this thing compared to the amount of leaf springs on that thing um, so I mean I don't know it all depends on I should say what you guys are towing how big you're gonna tow how heavy you're gonna tow now remember also we do not have the distribution bars so this hitch is set up for a distribution setup and I'm gonna have to lift this up because this is obviously it's way too low. But so we'll see. I'll do another video and we'll do a comparison on how much this thing squats with the distribution bars on there compared to when there are no distribution bars on there. Okay, uh, Lou's going to take the weight off and let's see how much this thing uh, or what it, what it does on the leaf springs over here. It's cranking away over there. So it, uh, I mean, I don't know, I guess it doesn't, doesn't look that bad, but you can tell when the weight was on there, everything, uh, was smashed, you know, crushed together. So, uh, well, white girl over here, she's going to get some airbags. Uh, me and Big Lou now, though, we're going to uh, rinse these trucks down because, well, apparently, I mean, look at how dusty his is. Take a peek at that. Take a peek at that. What, what's going on? Oh, what do we got over here? 
Quit stroking and start you, bad boy. Shout you. out to the water, water boy over there. The alkylator. Oh, the alkylator got the that for you? Oh, yeah. Waterboy might have one himself because it looks like uh, he's going to quit stroking yeah, and uh, yeah, because I don't know if he's happy. You guys heard from the last video. Uh, I don't know if you guys did hear from the last video, but Alkylator, his truck is for sale. His F-250 is officially for sale. So uh, why it's for sale? I think just because from the last live stream, you guys gave him too much crap. He couldn't handle it, couldn't take it anymore. He just broke down. He lost it. He didn't know what to do. And the only option he had was to sell his truck and buy a Ram. Uh, if he's going dually or not, I don't know. I know he's going 3,500, but not sure um, which 3,500 he's gonna get. Comment down below what you guys think. Let me know, uh, you know, what your thoughts are on the 3,500 dually versus the single wheel. But now me and Lou gotta go wash these things, rinse them off because they are filthy. But that's all I got. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.